Hi, my name is Michael Tynan, and I'm a policy team lead at the Office of Smoking and Health at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. I'm going to talk to you about a study we published and which we conducted in 2022 that assessed particulate matter levels in casinos that allow smoking in Las Vegas and compared those levels to a smoke-free casino in the city. But before I talk about our study, let me talk about secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke is the toxic mix of smoke that burns off of the end of a cigarette and that then is then combined in the air with the smoke that a person breathes out after they have inhaled from the cigarette. We know from decades of evidence that secondhand smoke contains thousands of chemicals, including approximately 70, which cause cancer. We also know that secondhand smoke is deadly and damages the human body. It, it can exacerbate health problems. It can cause diseases such as lung cancer, stroke, and heart disease among adults who do not smoke. We also know that even brief exposure can cause harm. One last point before I describe our study is that the U.S. Surgeon General first concluded in 2006 that there is no safe level of secondhand smoke exposure and that separating smokers from non-smokers, cleaning the air, and ventilation cannot eliminate exposure. Only way to eliminate exposure to secondhand smoke indoors is to completely prohibit smoking in indoor settings. So our objective in our study was to go into casinos in Las Vegas to conduct an air quality monitor assessment so that we could see how high secondhand smoke levels were in casinos and compare it to a smoke-free casino in the city. In our study, we assessed particulate matter that is 2.5 micrometers or smaller using an air quality monitor. What we did was we placed an air quality monitor in a backpack and collected measurements of air quality of ambient air for at least 30 minutes on the gaming floor, which is an area where smoking is allowed, and in a nearby area where smoking is otherwise prohibited, such as a restaurant or a sports book. Each casino was visited twice over a three-day period on separate days. The reason we assess particulate matter of this size, also known as PM2.5, is because PM2.5 is an acceptable marker for smoke. PM2.5 is produced in substantial amounts by tobacco smoke, and it can be inhaled deeply into the lungs. Also, tobacco smoke has been found to be the main source of PM2.5 indoors when smoking is allowed indoors. This slide shows the levels that were observed in all eight casinos. And on this chart, Casino 4 is the smoke-free casino. This chart gives overall findings for PM2.5 levels for the gaming areas, for non-smoking areas, and outdoors. This chart also shows findings for each casino. And then on the right, we combine and give the average of the smoking casinos compared with the smoke-free casino. Overall, our study, study's findings, as you can see, show that the mean or the average PM2.5 levels were significantly higher in casinos which allowed smoking compared to the smoke-free casino. What this means is that PM2.5 levels in casinos that allow smoking were about five and a half times higher when compared to the smoke-free casinos. For areas of, of casinos where smoking is otherwise prohibited, remember these are so-called non-smoking areas like restaurants or, or sports books, there was elevated PM2.5 levels that were observed showing the smoke did indeed drift into these smoke-free areas from areas where smoking is otherwise allowed. Overall, our findings demonstrate that decisions by casinos to continue to allow smoking indoors places the health of non-smoking visitors to casinos and employees at casinos to unnecessary risk. As a reminder, the U.S. Surgeon General found that separating smokers from non-smokers ventilation and other efforts to clean the air cannot eliminate secondhand smoke. The way to protect people from involuntary exposure to secondhand smoke is to prohibit smoking in all indoor areas. Thank you for asking me to present on this. If you have any questions, I can be emailed and contacted here. Thank you.